This is lesson 5.2, medians and altitudes of triangles. Your objectives are to identify and use medians in triangles and to identify and use altitudes in triangles. The first one of these will be the median. The median is the line segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. It goes from an angle to the midpoint of the opposite side, and when you draw all three of them, they intersect at the centroid. The centroid is two-thirds of the distance from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Now let's draw the three medians of a triangle. The median goes from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the opposite side is cut into two congruent halves. Draw the next one. And that segment is cut in half. And the third one cuts the third side into two congruent halves. The center that's created by the medians is called the centroid. The special property of the centroid is that it's the center of weight. If you cut a triangle out of a block of wood, for example, and found the centroid, you could balance that block of wood on your fingertip. Since the centroid is two-thirds of the distance from the vertex to the side, then it cuts each median into lengths that are two-thirds of the way and the other one-third of the way. And since two-thirds is twice as much as one-third, then the distance from the centroid to the vertex is twice as much as it is from the centroid to the side. For example, on that median, if that part of the median is 4, then the other part has to be 8, because it's twice as much. The distance from the centroid to the vertex is twice as much as it is from the centroid to the side. On the other median, if that length is 5, then the other one would be 10. If that one is 7, then that one is 14. Since the centroid is two-thirds of the way over, then it splits each median where part of it is twice as much as the other part. And the longer part is the part that goes from the centroid to the vertex. What do you look for with the medians? Well, Maybe since the sides are cut in half, you'll have a half side measure equal the other half side measure. And since the medians are cut into segments with ratios two-third to one-third, then the vertex end is twice as long as the side end. In triangle ABC, the measure of segment AU equals 16, the measure of segment BU equals 12, and the measure of segment CF equals 18. Find each measure. Well, since all of these segments go from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side, then what we have are the medians, and where they intersect is the centroid, and since the centroid cuts each of those medians into ratios 2 to 1, remembering the longer part is on the vertex side, then we can find these remaining measures. Consider median AD. The longer part is 16. It's twice as big as the other part, which is 8. On segment EB, the vertex side is the longer part, which is 12. 
it's twice as much as the other end, which is 6. In segment CF, which is 18, remember that the shorter part is one-third of that. If the whole thing is 18, then one-third of that is 6. So the shorter end of that is 6, and the vertex side is twice as much, which is 12. So now let's answer the questions. Number one, the measure of segment UD is 8. For 2, the measure of segment EU is 6. Number 3, the measure of segment CU is 12. 4, the measure of segment AD, which is 16 plus 8 which is 24. 5, the measure of segment UF, which is 6. And number 6, the measure of segment BE, which is 6 plus 12, or 18. So remember, the centroid cuts the median into two parts, where the part of the median that touches the vertex is twice as long as the part of the median that touches the side. The final special segment in a triangle is called the altitude. The altitude goes from a vertex to the opposite side and it hits the opposite side at a right angle. The three altitudes intersect at the orthocenter. So let's draw the three altitudes of a triangle. The altitude goes from a vertex to the opposite side and it hits that opposite side at a right angle. Draw the next one. And the third one, which goes through the same intersection that the first two went through. The center that's created there is the orthocenter. And there is nothing special about the orthocenter. The centers of the other segments all had something special about them. The orthocenter has nothing special about it. Now when you draw the altitudes, remember to look for the right angles. And those measures will equal 90. So maybe you have an angle measure there. Just set it equal to 90 and solve. So for the three medians, remember the medians go from a vertex to the midpoint of the side. They cut the side in half, so those half sides will be equal to each other. And they intersect at the centroid, which is two-thirds of the way across. So remember, the part of the median on the vertex side is twice as much as it is from the part of the median on the segment side. For the altitudes, they go from a vertex to the other side and hit it at a right angle. The altitudes intersect at the orthocenter. And since you have right angles, remember those measures equal 90. Keep track of all the special properties of each of these segments and use whichever property applies.